Hi, everyone. So, yeah, um, capsule wardrobe. I'm not quite there yet. I was supposed to be done by the end of May, but I will tell you I went on vacation for a week, and then we had a long weekend in the U.S., and quite frankly, spending time with John, mincing around the city, reading a book, sitting at cafes and drinking coffee was just so much more interesting to me. But my goal really is to get into that closet. When I open my closet at present, there are two things that I notice right away. With the exception of a few items, everything in my closet is a neutral. It is either black, brown, olive green, or some kind of creamy oatmeal-y shade. That kind of makes me sad. I know that neutrals are sort of the basic staple building block pieces of a wardrobe. But for me personally, I would like a little bit of color and a little bit of pizzazz. Some of the pieces I like the cut, the shape, but the color doesn't really speak to me. I wanted to show you what I meant about that sort of creaminess in my closet. So you'll see I'm wearing an oatmeal colored cardigan and then I have this kind of cream. I think this blouse is really cute. I love the detailing here, but what I'm noticing is that around the armholes and at the very bottom, there is some pilling, some snagging, some minor wear. I think I can probably get this through the summer season because again, at work, I would have a cardigan over it so, and it would be tucked into my skirt so no one's seeing the wear and tear of this. But this is what I mean. If I had something colorful, a colorful jacket to wear over this, I think it would be no question. But because I know that I pair this quite often with either a black cardigan or this oatmeal cardigan, oof, it's just, it's so sad to me. I want some color. So moving along, this has a bit of color. It's gold. I love this detailing, but... The last time I wore this was to a wedding oof, maybe three years ago. I think for me it's probably time to let this go. It's just, I think it's so adorable. I wish I could find something else and maybe just a more rich gold. To, and I feel like it kind of washes me out and looks very flat, very boring. So it does not look flat and boring, but might be on the verge of washing me out is this now this camisole is very close to a color that i love looks wonderful on me but it's just not exactly the right shade but this is a prime example of one of those things where if i decide that it doesn't wash me out i'll keep it because it's a functional underpinning like i would wear it with this oatmeal color cardigan and it would add some zest to the outfit. And I just bought this a few months ago, probably back in March, and I paid $5 for it. I don't wanna say that I think I got my money's worth, but I would be ready to part with it. There's no missing this. This is something that I bought under pressure. I needed to buy a cardigan because I was staying at my parents' house last minute. This is close to a color that I would wear, and it was on the sale rack for $5, so I thought, all right, I'll get it. And I've worn it, and I like that it's colorful, but it's just not the right color for me, so I don't feel comfortable in it. Now, the oatmeal, the same thing, and at least I feel comfortable in the oatmeal. I mean, it might not be exciting, and it might not spark my joy, but it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable or that it is like a, a loud beacon saying that I'm working on a roadside, please don't run me over. I apologize that this video is a bit of a bust in terms of showing you my closet and my new capsule wardrobe. We all need to recognize that uh, this is an evolutionary process. It is a process and that there's no right answer. I think what we need to be looking at is do the items in my closet tell the story of who I am? So while this video was a bit of a bust, I do promise you I will be back. 
I will show you what's happening in my closet and I will show you what's happening as far as a capsule wardrobe. Thank you very much for watching.